Malcolm from Long Beach. Yes. And a very good show. We've been an Oscar guest. It's very, very, very important. Great show. But you have to be very careful about absolute. Your statement about Fox is very right on. But remember, the world is very nuanced and very relative in many ways. For example, I am a person who's deathly allergic to cats. I have an incredible allergic reaction to dander. There have been many times where I've walked into people's homes, did not even know that they had a cat, and I had an incredible reaction, and then I found out they had a cat. So not always do you call things into existence because of your thinking pattern. The reason why I'm saying you have to be careful with those because the absolutism is that you can, with that ideology, has been used to to justify oppression and a lot of exploitation. Look at African American slaves, uh, slaves that are black in this country, or look at the oppression of, of indigenous groups in Latin America. Are those people responsible for that condition? That's my first question. And I have a follow-up. <laughs> okay, Bob, do you want to? Is this Tom? Hello? What's the name, Tom? No, my name is Tony. Tony. Tony, okay. I have a follow-up, by the way. Okay, that's all right. Tony, the, uh, you probably missed the point. I, I say we're juggling four bodies, and I agree with you. You don't keep one perspective as an absolute. I'm juggling the uh, chemical body knowledge that you're citing, the sociological TV landscape knowledge, and the chip landscape, which I've emphasized a lot in this show over the last nine years. But I thought I'd bring in the Astro Archive because I've, I've had this recent experience. So, yes, that is true. You cannot rely on one thought form. But I would say, your point taken, can you begin to look at your allergy from the astral level and see why you created it? That should be looked at, not that it's going to lead to any absolute resolution, but you shouldn't use the defense of the chemical body and, and play down the astral body insight. Well, but, but, but my point, sir, is that you have to be very careful because here's, here's the situation. The placebo effect happens, I agree. But there are situations where people are sick definitely because of external factors, not because of their own. For example, the Spanish influenza that killed all those people was not because of some thought pattern. It was an actual chemical, biological part done by the U.S. Army. So that is not a, 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 thought, pattern, a thought process, oh, I'm not going to get the influenza. Or look what they did with the Tuskegee experiment of those African Americans they were victims of their own thought patterns? No, these things are, are legitimate, egregious, demonic things that humans have done throughout history. So when you propound those beliefs, you actually justify the status reactionaries that control this world in that type of region place. You've got to be real careful with that. Well, there's nobody more careful than me, and I can really cancel out. Uh, what I just said about the Astro Archive, because if I bring in the chip body, the TV body, the chemical body. So I agree with you, but I include other levels. I, I know about that. But what's interesting is that the Astro Archive is a rare archive, a rare form. When it says that all deaths are suicides, nobody's going to believe that. And, and the point you're making are normal wisdom. Yeah, we have people to blame. but. Mix in that the TV confusion of the information environment, and then the chip autonomy you have with uh, the digital environment. You can't begin to find out who's what or what is, and uh, whether Obama was born in Hawaii or there is no information in our society now. So another aspect I've been saying in Evan's show is in a post-information society, you can't determine who's doing what to whom. This is all blurred and will be canceled out by Crossfire or CNBC talk shows in 60 minutes, whatever. It'll be always canceled out. So actually. Maybe it's time for a bit of the Astro Archive to come in because it transcends that and brings in a, a long time suppressed form of viewing things. Anyways, knowing that the Tuskegee uh, thing was not the fall of the blacks is not going to help me against the, the, swine, the swine flu epidemic. Everything that happens then is just a, a consequence of, of happenstance. So uh, with Tony um, getting a, a strong allergy against um, uh, cats, that isn't something preordained that he has to handle this challenge in this lifetime and that's supposed to bring something out. That's just a happenstance that, uh, that's a part of this unwritten creative process of materialism. Yes, it seems that having 
in the bliss of the non-physical, nothing's created and there is no contrast. So we come here into the physical and the veil is shifting or thinning so that the message of Ion is that the physical and the non-physical are getting so intertwined that he says, Bob, you may be the first to stay alive in the physical and not die, yet stay in touch with the, with the non-physical. And that's a preposterous notion, but as Moses, the new Moses, that's my agenda. That's what I'm going to do with my telekinetic radio show. You know what happened? I'll get back to your point in a second. You know, one of the things, you know how the Mayan cultures uh, uh, just disappeared and don't human bones? Right. Well, uh, a friend of mine uh, mentioned this idea, and they said, well, there was a documentary on the Discovery Channel two weeks ago showing about four or five cultures around the world that have amazing architecture and no human remains. So I checked it out with Ion. It turned out that the Mayans, they organized, because they didn't know any better. They didn't know about viruses. They didn't know about gravity. They experienced it, but they didn't have any concepts. They decided that they could go into non-physical, and they actually evaporated small chunks of the tribe and then including everybody into the non-physical. And many cultures have done this through history. I'm now implementing that agenda, but I'm going to go one further. And we're going to go into the non-physical, disappear, then come back into the physical. And this can only be done now because the veil between the two. So I'm now pronouncing that I'm alive and dead at the same time, not limited to the images those two words evoke. Right. Now back to uh, the, the main point that Ion says the soul, up to this point, because if the physical, you know, aligns and merges with the non-physical, they're not going to be able to have that much contrast. Uh, but we, up to this point, have come into the dimension to have contrast to create problems so we can create antidotes to them. And all technologies are already in the time of zone, and so we create these little different variations in technologies, but they're just in fragments of what the totality is. And therefore, they create all kinds of incompletion and problems, which McLuhan turned into a science study in the disservices and services. Aren't, so, aren't, oh, sorry, go ahead, yes. So the, the, uh, it depends on how much you want to do. Ion says, if everybody was given, a, say, $50,000 tomorrow, everybody in the United States, within six, and everybody was equal and everybody lined up and no one had any more than the 50000 they were given, and you can do that with the trillion dollar stuff that Bob was talking about, uh, in six months, we'd be back into a hierarchy of rich and poor and scarcity and uh, overindulgence. You mean if everybody's wealth was wiped out and everybody yeah. was given 50000 yeah. you're saying that we would be back to the very same hierarchy within yes. six months? Yeah, because those that knew how to manifest with it, instinctively or psychically, they would make more money. Those that want to experience contrast or just feel lack for whatever reason, they would lose their money. Right. And so when you think about that part, that part of, of sociology, it's interesting to look at human history. It also frees you up into your own responsibility. That yes. you have to create your own reality and you have to create your own sense of lack or success. But what is that's this? A, that's a big strain on people. But what's but this we're mean? We're being forced to do that now. Yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but.